Hi, I'm Mike Hinkle with Whistlug, and this is my build, the Oceanic Journey. Uh, originally built for the 2020 Brick World here in Chicago. Uh, since that didn't happen and 2021 didn't happen, uh, sat in my basement in a work in progress for a couple years until it, it made it to the Milwaukee Brick World originally, and then finally here at the Chicago Brick World. Uh, a labor of love. That, that was a, uh, a non-designer built cruise ship. Uh, just a hit and miss as I put it together over the, the years. But uh, I, I like it. Turned out well. It's uh, to scale for the little statuette figures. And uh, I think that's, that is the first build I've ever kept after a brick world. <laughs> I, I usually tear all my stuff down and build something different, but I think this one will be around for a little bit. I mean, it looks so great, I don't blame you. Now, one thing that catches your attention is just the size of this. How long is this build? It's just a tad under eight feet. So I have to bring my own framed uh, plywood board because any give in a table or any bend, and it, it doesn't fit together. It's a pretty exacting build. Uh, I have a framework on the inside, so I, I don't have an interior to it. But I incorporated bits and pieces from a lot of cruise ship photos. And it's amazing how many people come by and, and recognize something they saw on a cruise ship that they were on and, and ask, you know, is that so-and-so's ship? And, and it's like, no, oh, that's one I popped out of my head just based on a, a gazillion pictures. So. Have you done a lot of cruises yourself? And is this something you're kind of personally interested in? Uh, on one cruise. I've been on one. And uh, the TV in the middle section above the pool area. That's the feature that the cruise ship I was on had. And I thought it was just awesome to be out in the middle of the ocean, in the middle of the night, nothing but stars over your head, watching movies <laughs> on this big screen. It was pretty awesome. So I wanted my ship to have it. That's a great transition to talking about more of the details. So take us through some of the kind of finer details on the build. OK, it does have a little bit of interior in the back. Um, it's not lit up, though. Uh, I like the little bridge from the, uh, the the shop area in the front of the ship into a, a food court up on top. Uh, lots of seating and the blue deck chairs uh, scattered all over the place. So everything is held down. So I've got uh, little one by one bricks or, or plates underneath and it took up almost my entire supply of two by two plates to do the decking. <laughs> but, uh, Kept me busy. The uh, the build, gravity holds it together for the most part. Uh, the front and the back of the ship actually slide off. So every uh, lifeboat is a section up. The windows all come apart in sections. It's a giant puzzle <laughs> is what it is. It fits nice into uh, two and a half gallon bags for transportation. And that way if anything falls off, I know exactly where it came from makes uh, putting it together a lot easier. But uh, yeah, uh, hour and a half build time when we got here to Brickworld. A uh, little help with the wife. <laughs> and it, it comes together nice. Yep. Uh, it's it's a, actually kind of fun to put that one together. <laughs> it, it looks like it would be. So as, as we move towards the back then, what else do we have happening on the ship? Uh, I have a banyan tree bar up on the top with the uh, hot tub off to the side. That'd be the more adult area of the cruise ship. <laughs> uh, deck chairs up around the stack. And then as we move to the very back of the boat, uh, we have palm trees all along the back. Give it that, that more Hawaiian. We were in Hawaii a couple of years ago, and I thought that'd be awesome to have trees on the boat, too. So that, that's where the banyan bar came from and the uh, palm trees on the back deck. It's, it's a little bit of what I would put on my cruise ship if, if I had one. That, that's how I build them. <laughs> I love that, the personal touches. Yep, yeah, yeah. Everything I build is like that. It's like, if I wouldn't want to ride in it, I, I wouldn't build it that way. <laughs> so you've also got these lifeboats here. How did you come up with the design for those? Uh, again, that came from just looking at pictures of various lifeboats. I actually did a little research to see how they put them together because when they told me 100 people could fit in the lifeboat on the cruise ship we were on, I wonder how little people 
that how little those people had to be to get into like 100 of them into that little boat. But uh, yeah, apparently, the way they're built, it's just like a big hollow fiberglass structure. So I guess there's plenty of room on the inside, and they stack you on top of each other. <laughs> hey, in an emergency, I think I think it'd work. Yep. Yeah, and I think you'd be happy to be on it, no matter how crowded it was. But, uh, yep, I did a little research on it. You get the overall shape. You need more boat underwater than you do above water, and it keeps them from tipping over. So looking underneath, there is a little more heft to the boat underneath than there is above. So, yeah, get a little true to fact, uh, just a little make it look right for the ship. So a build of this size obviously needs some good structure to keep it all together. What is the whole internal core like? Uh, there's framework for the most part, and actually, if you want to get a shot, I think I can just slide the back here off. Uh, That'd be awesome to see inside. Hopefully nothing falls off, but uh, there's a, a framework on the bottom. These are all just the 32 by 32 plates that come across, connect up. Um, there's like a little T underneath, so it sits flat on the table. Uh, the upper decks, I have cross members on the back of all the windows to go across so that everything spaces out, doesn't bow in. And uh, the upper decks, uh, probably not a good one to do it on. I have bracket pieces. So the upper decks just kind of cover up the loose joints in between. And then I use a tile to connect up between the different base plates. So I, it comes apart in sheets. Yeah. So easy to build with. That's a great design. So you mentioned this is eight feet long. How did you decide to go at this big of a scale for the build? I went to the, the scale for the statuettes. So I could actually have people on it and it would look into scale because minifigs were way too big. And <laughs> I, I didn't have enough parts to make the, the big ship minifig scale. However, riverboat uh, cruise ship looks like it might be in the future. <laughs> I can do that minifig scale. Yeah. No, that'd be super cool. Now, LEGO, of course, recently released the Titanic set, which is their own massive ship model. Have you had a chance to build that? No, not to build it, but I've looked at it, and that is awesome. That actually, this only has about 2,000 more pieces than that does. So that is just cram-packed full of details. No, it's um, Yep, but the newer ships, uh, the cruise ships, are they're big and they make them fast. So <laughs> that, that's the way this one worked out. There you go. I love the model here. Thanks so much for bringing it out to Brick World. Oh, thank you. Beyond the Brick, you guys are great.